Nation TV, the people's choice. I would like to take this time to thank my subscribers for tuning in. Those who are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button for further info and updates. As you can see, people, today we're going to be talking about man get licks after meeting Facebook friend in Freeport. So, people, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button, be a part of the team, Chini Connection TV. Don't forget to hit the like button, the bell notification, and also comment and share the video with your friends and family. So, people, we're talking about a man got licks after meeting a Facebook friend in Freeport. So, people, let me tell you the story. This man been talking to a woman on Facebook for a few months. So as the conversation start to get heated and stuff like that, they make arrangements to meet up in Freeport. This man is a security guard. So upon driving to Freeport to meet this young lady, when he got to the destination and he met the lady, she jumped into the car. When she jumped into the car, she told him, Hey, it have a little track there. Could you just reverse your vehicle up into the track? So I'm guessing in his mind, he's thinking, we're going to reverse up into our track. Most likely, whatever we talk about on Facebook, probably about to go down. So he thinking about liking himself. We well, already know things as well. Whoever that was talking about on Facebook, he thinking in his mind when she tell him reverse into the track. And this is a wrong 10 13 in night. So he listened to she and reverse into the track. When he reverse into the track, he car into the dark track. He noticed that a man outside his vehicle with an object resembling a gun aiming at him. So he frees up now. And in the, ne the man next hand, is a metal baseball bat upon stopping freezing in his position whatever position he driving the car in he noticed a man approaching the car with a cut glass now so now it's two men now they order him to come out the vehicle while he coming out the vehicle the lady her out the vehicle she was on her on harm nobody did she anything then the men and them start to tie him up. He's claiming they tie him up and then a third man came. And then the third man, guess what this third man did? The third man tell him to suck the toe of one of the individuals, one of the other accomplices. I don't know if it's the woman too to tell him to suck, but the way the story is saying it, when they say in the tell him to suck the toes of another accomplice it sounds like it's one of the other fellas and I don't know what kind of thing going on here but in the story he's claiming he was tied up but here the, the story twists and change a little bit he said he managed to get away and then he ran to somebody down the street some house down the street and managed of course call police and the police come and stuff like that he said he lost a thousand dollars he had on him they took it and also his laptop worth six thousand dollars and then also his cell phone for eight hundred dollars so right now the police is doing investigation into this right now but people Tell me this in the comment section. Does this story, this story sounds like it's a setup, the lady set him up. But it also sounds like he left out some parts of the story because I can see that people, a person tie you up. And they may they do all this stuff. And you manage to get away. I don't know. Maybe he managed to get away after they leave from tying him up. But I do, don't tell me it's criminals in the country tying you up and tell you to suck the toe. This right here sounds very fishy and very strange. I don't know if he's saying they tell him to suck the toe when really and truly 
they tell him to suck something else. I don't know. I don't know if the criminals in this country and some funny thing going on. But I do. So he literally telling us that the criminals tie you up and take their shoes off and tell him to suck the toe. Or did they tell him to suck the toe of the woman? Why would they say that? If the woman didn't even gain nothing, she jumped out of the vehicle, she set you up to get robbed. That is why people, when you're talking to somebody on social media and thing, you got to know it's very dangerous meeting someone because you could be talking to somebody on social media and you don't even know that that person could be someone else. That person could be putting up fake pictures. That person could be a totally different person. So you meeting up with a woman that you've been talking to so long on Facebook. You don't know her. You just know her over the internet. And then or let me choose to meet up somewhere. She probably tell you the location. Which is very shaky because if you're going to talking to somebody, you better off telling them somewhere that you know you're safe at. Because when you venture in and off into a, a place that you don't know, guess what? You put yourself in trouble. And this man claiming he was robbed. They, they take his stuff and they made him do explicit weird stuff sucking toes and all this that's what he's claiming I don't know if it's more than that and he's afraid to say what really took place to the police because you know the police police will laugh at you under. but it's sad to say people when only talking to people on social medias and stuff like that be very very cautious in your decisions when he meeting up with people because this this situation that happened to him I believe this happened to many people many people and women when they meeting up with men from social media be very careful go with somebody with you because it's very dangerous so people if you're new to this channel I'll advise you to hit the subscribe button and be a part of the team Trinity Connection TV and those who always commenting and being a part of the team, much love to each and every one of y'all for supporting each other. Big up all yourself. Don't forget, comment below and let me know what you think about the situation. Because the situation sounds very fishy. The story sounds like some stuff is missing in the story. So people in the comment section, let me know what you think about this. Much love to each and every one of y'all that tune in with Trinity Connection TV and support each other. Trinity Connection TV signing out. One love. Trinity Connection TV. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe now.